Hello friends, this is my YouTube channel called PowerPoint University. You can find more than 200 plus video tutorials which are absolutely free and I have provided the download link for each video in the video description section. And if you need any assistance or help, you can contact me through WhatsApp on this number. And as usual, I need your support to make my content free. You can donate any amount as you like, which will help me to make more free content. Thank you for your support. Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel PowerPoint University. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to introduce uh, the employees to the new staff. And for this, I've created this slide. For example, now if I just click, it will show you the first employee, the name, what's this role and some details and the social media profile here. And then the second employee details comes there and then the third employee details and you can add any button or text here like join our team or team introduction or something else so let's see how to create this slide in powerpoint these are the prerequisites to make this slide you need powerpoint 2013 and above version basic merge shapes knowledge and i recommend you to watch my free powerpoint training videos and social media icons like facebook twitter instagram which you can download from the nonproject.com and three employee images so let's see how to create this slide add a new slide go to insert tab shapes select rounded corner rectangle make the height as 4.6 and the width as 2.9 or you can take three also make it no outline and put it in the center then right mouse click go to format shape and select gradient fill I'm deleting the two stops only remaining two are there so I'm just going to select some nice color combination so you can select maybe this color with some other color so we got one color option press ctrl D to duplicate add one here and ctrl D again add one more here and now give a different colors I'll just go and select maybe this green and some light green then come and select this one maybe with some orange and a light orange So we have selected the three different gradient colors. Now it's time to add the callout. For that, go to insert shapes and select one oval shape. Draw the oval shape. Make it no outline. Go to insert shapes. Select a triangle. Draw the triangle. Rotate the triangle. To flip vertical and rotate a little bit and align it properly then select both these options go to merge shapes say union and remove the outline now I'm going to add one more rounded corner rectangle for a call out with a different shape and one more time you insert the right triangle rotate it
and this also select both op options and union it and make it no outline and the last one also press ctrl d and maybe you can rotate it this side and somewhat give a different shape reduce the size so the callouts are ready now now add the employee images so i'm just coming here select these three images and paste it here so bringing this employee here this one here and make sure that uh, the images should be the png format with a transparent background and then if you see here i have given some a different pattern so i'm just going to add the same pattern so copy this i'm just copying all these three here control c control v bring it down i'm just going to reduce the size a little bit sorry the transparency go to insert shapes select a uh, oval shape i'm going to take only this much part make it no outline also make one more i will take this much and add one more i'll take this much so first of all i'm just going to subtract this one select this and this merge shape say intersect select this and this again intersect this and this also say intersect now i got this three i will select this control c control v here and then i'm going to give a different color first of all for this maybe a, a yellow color and this will be dark orange this will be some more different color maybe this orange and this one with this color now bring this here align it properly so this part belongs to this you can do the other way also with the using the fragment that also possible so i copied this bring this also here the other one also bring it here sorry and then align this also properly and this also put it on top so you can see a nice pattern has been added here you can change this color a little bit different because it's blending with the background all right similarly you can do the same uh, effects for this callouts also and then once this is done you need you can add the text here to add the text go to insert shapes and add the text box add the name of the employee and before that you have to group all these things press ctrl g to group it and give the shadow effect 
all right and if you want you can increase the the blur size and type the employee name with white text and add the designation and a little bit more details all right so once this is done add the employee name for these two as well and then once we adding we finish adding this one i'm going to add the a different a background to this one for that i'll go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape or different different oval shape increase the transparency level make it no outline press control d and add one more and then the areas which are going outside of the slide we need to cut it for that add one rectangle something like this make it no outline and this also increase the transparency level press ctrl d to duplicate for further use select the oval shape and the rectangle merge shape and say subtract you can see that is going out i'm going to select this i'm going to cut this end subtract it and then we'll do the below part control d select this and then say subtract this also subtract and lastly this one also subtract it all right now once this is done we need to change these colors you can use some nice colors here and remove the transparency and select all these three send to back you can add further also or you can add one more at the bottom one more oval shape and this also cut it sorry i need to cut this full and give some different color to this increase somewhat transparency a little bit transparency i have added the same pattern for this also now just copy the employee name and the designation control d and then you can start doing the animation for that go to animations enable the animation pane select the first employee and add animation i will select first the random bars so it will come like this then the employee name should come which is appear 
up here you make it after previous and double click you say animation animate text by letter at point one second so it comes like this and then the designation should come up here and you say after previous so if you see here this is like the animation works and then I'll select the second employee and give some different animation maybe I'll just say or dissolve in or you can use maybe stripes or strips and then using the animation painter I'm going to copy to the name as well as to the designation and for this I'll use a different effect I'll say dissolve in select animation painter put it here so we have done with the animation I'm just going to add one more button which is to say join my team I will use some dark color here and add the text join my team with the font white and a different style Select both this, group it and give one more animation, the last animation which is I will say basic zoom and that should happen after previous. So let's see in the slideshow. So when I click, it will show you the first one, then the second employee and the third employee then join my team comes and I forgot to add the social media icons here you can add the icons in this place i'm going to add the icons which i already copied here Control c Control v and group it together and sorry and bring this side Control d add here and add here and make sure that this is aligned properly format align top That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.